Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I want to explain the difference between members and other people that you get to see in Project for the Web. Uh, let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So here, uh, obviously, I'm in the Project for the Web. I have a sample project schedule, and if you click in the uh, upper right-hand corner, you will notice it says, you know, two group members, and it lists me and uh, Mary as part of the group, and then. Um, under members, of course, and then of course uh, you get to see, um, you know, the other tab called other people. So let me explain to you the difference between those two tabs. Uh, let me give you a use case. So at the moment, Mary and I were part of this, you know, uh, project schedule. Uh, we are also part of this, um, you know, group. What does it mean? Behind the scenes. Um, you know, project schedule doesn't just exist out there in space by itself. Uh, behind the scenes, project for the web uh, is actually tied in uh, to uh, Microsoft 365 group. And you might be familiar with this group already. Uh, every time you create a team in Microsoft Teams, every time you create a team site uh, in SharePoint, uh, behind the scenes, it spins up, um, it creates a Microsoft 365 group and essentially it's a membership group it's a security group that manages access to various applications that are part of so for example um the way it stands right now um you know uh, mary and i uh, we are uh, members of this hr uh, team uh, we are part of this Microsoft 365 group. As a result, we have obviously have access to this project schedule. We have access to Planner, which is another, another task management tool. We have access to Microsoft Teams. We have access to uh, a group calendar in Outlook and obviously a SharePoint site that is also part of this group. Uh, but here's the situation. Uh, let's just say, uh, you know, we're working on the schedule and we need to uh, assign the tasks. And uh, obviously, I can choose from the team members, uh, right? Um, myself and Mary. Uh, but you know what? There is this one task uh, that another individual needs to, um, you know, to perform, and uh, it's John. So when I add John, uh, it comes up with this uh, message for me, uh, and essentially, what it's saying, uh, it gives me two options. All right. Uh, essentially, uh, because John is not part of the Microsoft 365 group, it's asking me a question. Uh, do I want to uh, essentially just assign the task to John? Or do I also want to assign um, um, you know, uh, uh, John a task, but also uh, add him to the Microsoft 365 group? And this is super important. I mean, obviously, if I decide to do this, not only will I be assigning a task uh, to John, I will also be adding him to the group. If I just, you know, choose this option, just assign, let me do that. So I don't want to assign and, you know, uh, uh, add him to the group because John will have access to Teams and SharePoint site. I really don't want that. I just want him uh, to work on this task. I just want to assign this task. So let me do that, just assign. All right, so the task uh, has been assigned, but let's see what's going on here in the upper right corner. Let me click on group members. You are going to notice that John um, obviously was not added as part of the group. But now when I click on the other, uh, you know, people tab, uh, it's showing John's name. And here is a really important part and it kind of uh, states it here in, uh, you know, fine print uh, because I did not add John to, you know, to the group. He cannot really access the schedule, all right? Um, you know, he cannot see this project or his assigned tasks. All right, it's just really a way for me to uh, track the assignments. But if I do want a John to be um, uh, essentially a, a team member and be able to access the uh, schedule and collaborate and access other uh, assets as part of the Microsoft 365 group, I, you know, I would need that to essentially add him as a member of the group. Uh, so uh, that's pretty much it. You have those two options. Uh, sometimes, uh, right, you just might be working with some people, um, you know, maybe outside of your team and uh, just want to track their names, you know, uh, due to the tasks assigned. Uh, but, you know, be careful, right? You, you might or might not want to add them to the whole group because 
Uh, just like it states here, it uh, will add them to the group and will give them access to Teams chat and you know OneNote and SharePoint site and everything else the Microsoft 365 group has to offer. So that's all I wanted to share in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com. And uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.